Here's an update on what's happening at the city of Lakeville. Lakeville has its first tap room. Metro Equity Management announced it has entered into a lease agreement with Angry Inch Brewing. Along with Heavy Metal Grill, they will occupy the former Ace Hardware building in downtown Lakeville. They will be one of the first tap rooms south of the river and will offer nine varieties of beer on tap. Lakeville Liquors Heritage Remodeling is complete. The store was closed from February 23rd through the 27th. The purpose of the renovation was to create room for a larger inventory with an emphasis on greater selection of beer and wine. You can check out the remodeled store and the wider selection at 20164 Heritage Drive. The LPD is hiring. The department recently received 252 applications for the position of police officer. Interviews are scheduled for early March and approximately 195 will be invited for an interview. The demand for quality candidates is very high in our area, and the police department hopes to find the most qualified candidates who might become officers in the future for our city. Upcoming city meetings include the City Council on Monday, March 2nd at 7 p.m., Parks and Rec and Natural Resources Committee on Wednesday, March 4th at 6 p.m., Planning Commission on Thursday, March 5th at 6 p.m., and the Finance Committee will be meeting at the Water Treatment Facility on Thursday, March 12th at 7 p.m. There is a new edition of the Lakeville Kids in Government program now airing on cable channel 180. This edition takes a tour of the pipe gallery in the Water Treatment Facility and gives Home Alone safety tips for kids. Lakeville Kids in Government can be seen on LGTV channel 180 on Charter Cable or online at the city's website or YouTube channel. And finally, retiring finance director Dennis Feller was given a heartfelt send-off at a recent city council meeting. Feller, who has been the finance director for the city for 38 years, was honored for his dedication and years of service to the community. Dennis plans to spend more time with his family and enjoy a variety of hobbies following his last day on the job on Friday, February 27th. If you would like more information about these or city-related items, visit the city's website at lakevillemn.gov or call 952-985-4400. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. And now you're caught up on what's happening here at the city of Lakeville.